rappers, actors, and crochet. On to this episode of the Cat's Eye News. Hey Novi, this Thursday, December 21st, our crochet interest group will be having their second meeting right after school in room 160. Make sure to be there, Novi. It's going to be a very relaxing activity. Hey Wildcats, just letting you know that Photography Interest Group is having their third meeting on December 20th in MC Lab 1 across room 182. The meeting will run from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. And if you would like to attend, you would learn about the use of camera angles and compositions in photography. Hey Wildcats, the Chinese Korean Club is meeting tomorrow, Thursday, December 21st, after school in room 247. To stay updated, make sure to join their Schoology group and follow their Instagram. Have a great day, Wildcats. Hello, Novi. Today we're here to update you on a very important missing persons case that has been solved. For those of you that don't know, last week someone came to the main office with a missing Squishmallow that had been found and lost for the last, like, two months or so. And while I was editing the intriguing story, it turned out that our very own Cat's Eye News family member, Serena, was the owner of the Squishmallow. So, Serena, what's the significance of this Squishmallow? I bought this from overseas, and I lost this Squishmallow two days after I received it. This is my favorite character, and it was really sad, depressed, mad. I was like, oh my god, that's mine. And I remember everyone in the class was like, surprising. Sometimes in life, we're faced with trials and tribulations, but you just gotta get through them. And and a great man once told me, in life, you never lose, you only find out. And today we found out, I mean, we found the Squishmallow. Hey Wildcats, on December 8th and 9th, an elite team of Novi Drama Club thespians went to the MI Fest, State Thespian Festival, which was in Lansing this year. Our troop director, Miss McKegg, was there too. And as the director of theater, I had 10 students travel with me to the State Thespian Festival and my responsibilities were to chaperone them and to make sure that they were prepared for all of their thespies and their scholarship auditions and anything else that they wanted to take on while they were there. Thespies are individual events. They are opportunities for students to be adjudicated by three professionals in various acting and technical categories. What categories did you participate in and what ranks did you get? So I did the um, solo uh, dance for State Thespian. I got an excellent. I competed in theater marketing and I competed in uh, duet acting with the tremendous Neil Arches Manish. Theater marketing, I got a perfect score superior and duet acting, we also got a superior, so I was really happy. Uh, just sound design. A superior. I participated in the duet acting with Lorelai and the musical theater solo. I got superior for both the categories. I competed in scenic design. I did fantastic. I got a superior uh, superior award. At State Thespian Festival, I performed in several opera house pieces. It was really fun. We got to do a lot of, um, we got to do the performances and then we got to participate in a lot of talkback, which is how we get advice and comments and questions after our show. Um, and we usually don't get a lot of that because students don't like to talk, but other theater kids were asking a lot of questions, so it was really cool. Also, Lorelai did solo acting, Brandon did solo acting, Brandon and Izzy did duet musical theater, I did playwriting, Lorelai and Hannah performed at Showcase, which was attended by everyone who attended the festival, and Alyssa and Millen both won the Thespian Scholarship. Congrats to everyone! It was really fun. Um, it was it was so cool seeing like so many people with similar interests. It was really awesome. It was just overwhelmingly like positive experience. It's really nice to go to a conference with people that you really like and meet more people that share the same passion for that craft. It was super fun, but also a little overwhelming. It was just so amazing. I keep talking about it with my theater friends because I just want to go back. I feel like it was a really good place for like all the theater kids to just like be there. It was like a theater boot camp, but only for like a day and a half. But it was just amazing. I think that even non-theater kids should go, like dancers, people who are interested in like film and like talking and present, like presentation, ceramics. It was really fun. I wish it was a little bit longer because uh, it was just such a great experience. Um, and then I did college scholarships, which turned out to be amazing. Over $200,000. I think it's just seeing the kids really spend time with each other and, and taking advantage of the chance to get to know each other better and 
through sort of that shared experience learn more about each individual as well like it's just fun it's just it's fun to see kids be kids and in a completely different environment because when we're here they might be at rehearsal and they're doing their thing but then they still have the pressure of oh when I get out of here I gotta get home and I have to do these 16 things and oh I'm supposed to volunteer at this place after that but I have dinner with my family but I better make sure that I make it to dance on time and it's a whole bunch of things they're also thinking about but when we're off site there's nothing else they can do except be part of what's going on. Only 11 months and two weeks until the next state thespian festival. Stay tuned Wildcats. Hey Wildcats, I was curious, who is Novi's favorite rapper? Instead of interviewing only a few people, I wanted to ask everybody. So I created a bracket full of eight popular rappers. And each episode, you guys will be able to vote who you like the best. So for the rappers, we have Drake, Travis Scott, Kanye, Kendrick Lamar, Post Malone, Eminem, Playboy Cardi, and Lil Wayne. Each episode for the next seven broadcasts, there will be a QR code and you guys can scan it and vote. You will also have the option to put down your favorite song or album. For the first two episodes, we're going to be doing round one. And then after winter break, we will do the semifinals and the finals. I also brought in a special guest with me for every single episode, introducing the one and only Jaden. What's up, guys? Pretty much for every single episode, Jaden will vote on who he think won the round. At the end, we'll see how many Jaden got right. So for today's first matchup, we have Drake and Travis Scott. This QR code here, you can go vote for that. This is a pretty powerful first match because I looked online and Drake has been rated number one on multiple websites for a long time now. So this will be interesting to see if Travis Scott can defeat Drake. And for round two, Kanye West and Kendrick Lamar. See you guys on Friday for the results. <laughs> Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. And that is pretty much it for this broadcast, Wildcats. See you tomorrow. It's not working.